The reason for the Great Lake to be untamed is its natural state of being an unusual lake solely relying on the seasonal swelling and decreasing level of water in the Mekong River. Still, one can visualize within this untamed lake the existence of solidarity among the boat people community living in their floated homes. Now we're on a boat to the reservation area of Tong Le South Lake, Cambodia. Well, actually, here, as you can see behind me, is the village, the, or we can say uh, there are boat people living on uh, Tong Le South Lake. During the visiting time, it was a post-rainy season, so the lake has been expanded, covering parts of Siem Reap, which were dry in summer. Kampong Pluk is the main targeted commune of the ADB's Tung Le Sop Sustainable Livelihood Project. At Cambodia, where I am right now, I come to visit one of the Asian Development Bank's projects in the Tung Le Sop Lake, where I'm standing here on the deck of a boat, and along behind me is the uh, village of Kampong Pluk community. Well, the Kampong Pluk community consists of three villages with a total population of around 600 households. And uh, the project funded by ADB is called the Tong Le Sop Sustainable Livelihoods Project, mainly to sustain the living life of uh, villagers in this community and how to live a sustainable life in a long lasting way. Under Tong Le Sop Sustainable Livelihood Project, Gampong Pluk community received an amount of 300,000 U.S. dollars to implement eight social infrastructure sub-projects, 21 income generation sub-projects, and eight community fishery sub-projects. The SI, the social infrastructure sub-projects, financed the following activities, canal rehabilitation, water hyacinth handicraft center construction, clean water station construction, etc. The IG, income generation sub-projects, financed the following activities. Fish raising, pig raising, self-group revolving fund support, and other vocation training activities. While the CFI sub-projects provided the community fisheries with patrolling boats and equipment, fisheries law dissemination training, and study tour assistance, flooded for flooded forest planting as well as helped the CFI to create some artificial fish habitats. According to the same villager, he also told us the situation of the lake during the recent flood as the water rose excessively to its extreme, submerging many parts of Siem Reap city facilities and downtown areas. But has anyone ever wondered how water supply is being irrigated in the middle of the lake where houses are floating and how sanitation works there? The Tong Le Sab Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project has the answer. To the project aim is to um, increase the rural population with access to 50% of uh, rural water supply coverage and 30% of uh, rural sanitation improvement by the end of this project. You know, uh, the people, because of this uh, project support to the village, the people, they has improved in terms of the, you know, the, their, the, their time to go to the water because so far we have a long time and, you know, 
to fetch the water from this village, and now they earn this time to, you know, improve the other job, and also they improve for in terms of the diarrhea disease, and also they uh, get a lot of the, you know, uh, income uh, generation for other, you know, uh, other business. You can. Uh, See that the, before the people, you know, they spend a lot of time and money for their, for their, uh, you know, time to fight the war, and also they spend the money for their, you know, the medicine. But after we support this uh, project, the people they improve, they earn money and time for their saving or the, you know, business at uh, their village. 15 million U.S. dollars was funded by the ADB to facilitate the implementation of the Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project. It is designed to expand access to water supply and sanitation in the rural areas for the better health of residents in six provinces adjoined to the Tongle Sap Lake. It will also contribute to the government of Cambodia's efforts to achieve its Cambodia Millennium Development Goal targets of improving the rural infrastructures. It is due 2015. ASEAN Economic Community will also be formalized the same year. Only three years away for the region to be economically borderless. Will poverty-stricken country like Cambodia make it there? or do they still have to wait for another millennium to concur? The answer is near. Patsurang De Sha Putarang Si, reporting for ASEAN TV from Siem Reap, Cambodia.